I was at a party, okay, a long time ago, party in Seattle, small party, maybe like 14 people, and this girl that we know, that I used to work with, she's having sex with this dude in the room, at my friend's room, and they have sex, and dude has a couple more drinks, and high fives people, it was funny, because there aren't maybe people there, so you know people are fucking, right, and walks out, and we know the girl, and she comes out, and she was like, I just couldn't help it, we were like, yeah, no problem, get your shit on. And she was like, this was so funny. She was like, I didn't really know him. Whose friend is that? <laughs> and we were like, oh, we thought you brought him. <laughs> Nobody knew who the fucking guy was. He came out, high-fived everybody, took a couple shots and left. We were like, got his rocks off. <laughs> yeah. What a great we night. Were like, He's Nobody. Like, <laughs> he went home and was like, dude, I was walking down the street. Nobody knew this fucking guy. I saw guy. a party, <laughs> went in, this hot chick fucked her. Drank their drinks and laughed, dude. On the high way. five. Were they cool? <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah, man. Dude. I was like, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, that's the best night that dude has ever had. Ever. He's probably still telling the story now. He's like, I, I to to be walking home or whatever, even if you're. And if I think I know the pressure you're talking about, smoking hot, crazy dude, crazy. He must have lived in the building or something. He's like, I like parties. Yeah, I'm gonna swing by here. I'm and like, she's hot. <laughs> Let's do this. What a great night. Where do you yeah. fall on people getting super close to wild animals? To take Not my thing. Pros, cons. Yeah. Pro. I get a cool and scram pick with a grizzly bear. One. Con. Heats me ass first. Yeah. Live on Instagram TV. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly where I fall. Like, so was he taking pictures of the wild animals? So he showed me. He was like, there was this one. There was a herd of bison that were across the street. And I couldn't. It wasn't close enough. So I hopped the fence. And I'm like, stop right there. Was the camera crew with him or something? Is no. he doing it for the TV show? No, just for his Instagram. Jacob. I agree. I go, what? I go, how is that? Has he not seen the videos? What bison do to people? Dude. Have you ever seen those videos? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever seen a buffalo in person? I grew up in fucking Colorado. We see buffalo. They're massive. They're massive. And they're not cool. No. Here's what I would tell you. You they're, know, they're, they're hippos covered in hair and horns. Bison? They're hippos. If you're, if you're an animal and you have a... It's rep- a dirt hippo. Yeah, dude, Boom, oh, bitch. This could be you, Jacob. <laughs> look look in the air and look at that. Boom, oh. bitch. Oh, It's a hairy rhinoceros. That's what that is. When you have knives on your face, you're not friendly. That's I, not... But again, just pros, cons, dude. Go to the zoo if you want to get close. That's my saying. Like, what, what's the... <laughs> Why, 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 why are you going? He said, I really wanted to see a bear. What? You want to see a bear? I have no desire to do that. No, I don't. I've seen a bear on Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen one at the zoo. I mean, sure, he's depressed and like broken, but. Yeah, and he's wearing, he's wearing a hat. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that's like an alien come here. I'm like, I want to check out humans and goes to a prison. Oh. Like, looks, I'm like, they look pretty sad. Yeah, why? That's what we do with animals. Hang in there. They look real sad. Love is blind is tough, right? I got to tell you. I didn't get through all of love. Oh. I found it boring. Halfway through, I was like, I got it. Yeah. That ever happened to you? Yes, that happens ev- yeah, every people year. People like, hate me for this, but that was me in Sopranos. What? Yeah, three episodes in it. I'm good. No, you don't get it. Three episodes? Three. Ep- When's the last time you watched it? I went back and watched the whole How first season. Mm, four months. I've been okay, home all recently. Long. Yeah, dude. Sopranos. Really? What part of it do you felt like you got? It I, was. I, so- I wasn't that interested. And compared to the TV we have now, yeah. Compared to that, we've just. It's so much better now. What would you say is so much better? Everything. Ah! Storylines, the editing, the what? acting. Oh, boy. What <laughs> what show in particular would you say is so much better besides Yellowstone? Well, that is so much better than Yellowstone Sopranos. Yellowstone, for sure. Uh, I'd say Narcos. All, all seasons are better. I haven't seen any Narcos. But I haven't seen Titanic either, so. Yeah, that's fine, though. People have been on me this week about not seeing Titanic. Him. Holy fuck, man. You do yourself a service, man. I got to tell you, I had no idea so many of your fans were big Titanic guys. Like, fuck, They're dude. guys in their feelings. Like, how are you not watching? How do you not see this? I haven't seen Titanic. I haven't seen The Notebook. I'm not in my feelings. The Notebook, I'm not. Yeah, but Titanic's a solid movie. Isn't it just like, it's not, you wouldn't consider that to be... A love story? Yeah. A ch- no, chicky flick? No, no, not really. Because Leonardo DiCaprio, it's that ta- Titanic, so it's a... You know, it's it's pretty brutal at the end there. Yeah. Uh, Rose is a bit of a cunt, right? She's tr- really cock-teasing Leo the whole time. Yeah. Jack. 
and then like they could have took turns on the on the ship uh door when they were both freezing you know i mean true she could have shared a door with him yeah i think about it like we could have taken turns so i didn't freeze to death i also feel like i've been told the movie so many times that like i got it i think so that's where i met with sopranos got it but you don't though (laughs) no i know people are gonna be upset about this but but, you watch the wire no i watched the first three episodes and i was like i got it honestly i watched the first three wow see how we're the same yeah all right i'll tell you what man watch true blood Suck it. I do watch True Blood. I like that kind of campy stuff. But I'm going to get into... I'll, I'll go back and watch The Wire. Oh, I mean, it's heavy. And towards the end, it sucks. But, but you watch Breaking Bad? Another one. Got it. No, you... I'm going to tell you right now, 100% Breaking Bad. Got it. You don't got it. I got it. How Teacher, many episodes you got it? Can't, uh, I did four. No, you don't got it. You don't got it. Breaking Bad? I know. No, man. I know, dude. Got <laughs> no, it. man. Did you watch Ozark? Nah, I watched the first three episodes and Fuck I'm like, I got dude. it. Why? I, wa- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I watched the first Ye- three episodes. Ye- Yellowstone to get you right away. It's so well done. And the writer Sheridan, you'd love all his stuff. Are you telling me, if you were telling me one out of the three, Yellowstone, The Wire, or what was the other one you just said? Ozark. Ozark. Which one? What should I watch? Yellowstone. Fantastic. Okay. Kevin Carson, name one bad thing he's ever done. Oh, no, dude. I'm Team Cosby. Now, you could argue Waterworld, but I found it entertaining as a kid. I am Team Kevin Carson with Gills? Sign me up. Yeah, man. And by the way, he was so fucking good as a young dude. I mean, bodyguard? Come on. What was the the first pair of shoes you bought where you were like, these are fucking oh dope. jordan fives the laser reds yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. still have them no i fucking wish i couldn't wear them but yeah i mean, that was that was when i was a kid yeah i did do, do, like wh- now now it's now it's a little different like i posted this uh instagram post today. what do those jordan fives look like is that yeah. uh they would be just the uh one over chin those me and my brother both got those Ooh. the fire reds my favorite shoe of all time. The Jordan ones are my favorite shoe of all time, uh, but those are the most sentimental shoe. That is. I a, bought them for my brother when they came out. I bought them for my brother. How much were they new back then? I don't know. We were kids. That it had to been a hundred bucks, I guess, for kid shoes. Yeah, dude. I still, for me, I still remember those white, red, and black old school. I, for me, I, they're the first Jordans I remember seeing. And to me, those are still my all-time favorite. They might be the ones. I don't know, but they... Probably the ones. They, the white... White, red, and black. Yeah, the ones, for and sure. I, I had never... I remember when he first started wearing those shoes. They were so... Yeah, those are them. I can't believe you played basketball in those. You ever, like... Those are not. They're not... Those, right there. They're not fun to... to uh, like, there's no support in them. No. There's, but there's they not look much going fucking on. so good. But even like the like these the like dunks are the hotness right now. Dunks are the hype beast. The, the, what people don't realize, dunks are skateboarding shoes. Yeah, these are stiff as fuck. Like if I if I walk far and like let's say I'm in New York, I can't wear dunks. My feet will because uh, I'm 37. My feet will be destroyed by the time we get back to the hotel. Yeah, you're also 37. You're wearing furry orange <laughs> shoes. So yeah, but it doesn't matter. Fur, no fur. <laughs> yeah. Python leather. Yeah. They're, <laughs> These are made for fucking skateboarding, yeah, and yeah. they're stiff as shit, dude. That's why, dude, I, the reason I stick with Puma. They're and so I, comfy. They're so comfortable. They're and I'm comfy. at the old, I told you what happened to me, old man, this weekend. And I'm at an old man stage in my life. But P- Pumas are dope, man. Like, you can wear those with jeans or anything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Are you, have you ever thought about designing a shoe? I did one for this brand, New York brand called Greats. I did one, uh, uh, Fire and Kid collab with them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was great. Well, how but did I was you? 100% was that one hundred percent your? You got to design them. Yep. And how did you go about? Like, did you look at a lot of? Well, old they schools? they have a base that you have to start from. Oh, they're oh yeah, they're right here. <laughs> <laughs> so so great, they're they're leather shoes. So I couldn't get too crazy because yeah. I like crazy shoes. But yep. when you're peeling to the mask, you can't do crazy. So these are. I like them, man. You know what I also like? See, I like the thick. On the bottom, yeah. I know a lot of people don't. No, greats like are those. they're they're amazing. They're crushing. They're big time now. They won't return my call. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ryan. But this, I mean, these these sold out in minutes. Yeah, those minutes. are super dope. Yeah. Man. If your son is sixteen and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna have some friends over," 
you cool if we stay here all night, but we drink? Where are you with that kind of stuff? <sighs> nothing worse than the cool parent. Yeah. <laughs> but, There's nothing worse. But at the same time, like, do oh, you, want you guys them, get some weed? But at the same time, do you want them out drinking or uh, in drinking? Do you know tough. what I mean? Like, that's, that's the thing. I... I I hope he I ra- he's raised where he's made good decisions where uh, you're gonna do that stuff but just do it responsibly. I think to me I gave Jacob an Uber card and I said yes. I don't I never want to see a charge on this that doesn't say Uber. Yes, but like this is for if you need a ride. I'm never gonna question it. By the way, even if it's two in the afternoon, I'm never gonna say why did you need. No. So take advantage Rather of that. Be safe. Yeah. Take advantage of that. But if I ever hear about you getting in a car I'm gonna or drop I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna fucking kill you yeah there was no dude the, the, the maddest I ever got at him I found a vape in his room a uh, tobacco vape. how old was he 15 or 16 and I said to him I go what listen kids are doing I said listen I'm gonna tell you this and this is just your one chance I'm gonna tell you this right now do not smoke vapes do not get addicted to this shit no were you still smoking weed every day when you're telling this <laughs> yeah but this he didn't know that at the oh, time. Okay. That time. So I'm like, do not, do not. And I'm serious, man. I can't get you hooked on this. This is a hard habit to break. And uh man, that motherfucker. And by the way, yeah, I snoop in my kids' room. Oh, if yeah. you don't snoop in your kids' room, oh, I'm a snooper. And by the way, and I and I don't I didn't I didn't I snoop around in the yeah, air dude. when everybody's gone. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a snooper. I mean, it's your studio, though. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But Jen, you got that. With, I was like, "Oh, what's this? You, it's a, for your. You're getting a gun, huh?" Okay, you did snoop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a snooper. <laughs> you got to snoop. I got to see what's going on, man. <laughs> my thing with my kid Snoopy is this. Snoopy McGee over you're here. You're all Snoop Dogg. Like Jen's trying to get a gun. Huh? That's, get a gun. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Make a mental like if, note. I can, if I can help. <laughs> but for me, guys snoop- can help snooping too. with kids right. is this. I didn't bust him on everything because I didn't want him to know I was in his shit. Yeah. But I want to make sure he's not doing things that are harmful to him. 